All right, this video is going to be for people that are having a hard time playing out on the zombie server, or if it's going to be your first time going out onto the zombie server. It's just going to be some basic information, give you a quick understanding of how things are going to be played. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the things that are on the main screen there when you're loading in. There's some uh, important things you want to read there. Okay, so I obviously already have a character created. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you guys over to where you would start out for the first time if you were coming into the server. Let me do that here right quick. Keep in mind guys, it is difficult out here in the zombie world. And, and it's by design. I've been on multiple servers and I just didn't feel like the zombie apocalypse was really too much of a threat. So the reason that I created this server was to make it so that it was a difficult server where you need to work together with other survivors to be able to survive. So, we are over here at the starting area. Your first time login will be right here at this spot and create your character here. Now, if you mess up and you don't get to finish your character in some kind of way or there's a customization you didn't get to do, you can come over to this gentleman right here and he'll get you patched up with whatever kind of uh, plastic surgery you need done. Right here is one of the storage areas. Now this is just the first storage area. There's multiple storage areas that are in set locations around the map. These are the cheap storage. It's only $50 to be able to store items there and you can come back and keep your items in there. And uh, they'll always be there every time you log in. There are, uh, There is another type of storage that we'll go over here in a little bit. But uh, right off the bat, you can see that there's some boxes, crates in here. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you go ahead and you search every one of these crates. Uh, wooden crates are going to give you a higher percent uh, of finding a weapon. There you can see I just found a machete. And crates are also going to give you uh, other loot items that you cannot find on zombies. Zombies are going to be your other way of uh, looting. Zombies are going to be able to give you money, food, uh, different med kits or medical items I believe but you want to make sure that you are uh, you know looking for the different kind of uh, crates that you're gonna be able to loot because like I said this is where you're gonna get your better loot and there are multiple types so make sure you check all different types and you can loot trash cans as well this is a safe zone that I am currently in right here where you start out so you don't have to worry. You can see this is the proximity of where you're safe. There are other safe zones located on the map, like where you respawn. Up here you can also see that there is a vehicle spawner right here, where you'll be able to spawn in a vehicle. This may or may not be in this location when you watch this video. And it's just going to depend on uh, how players use and abuse this system. But you will have access to vehicles in different areas around the map. There are certain things you want to make sure you check out, different kinds of traders, they're not all going to be selling the same items. And there are different missions that you can try to go and uh, accomplish when you're out here in the, uh, the zombie world. Now there are overgrown areas found around the map, many overgrown areas around the map, that are going to have uh, the most amount of loot. So there, you will find loot in areas that aren't overgrown, but when you see any spot that's heavily overgrown, it's definitely something you want to check out and investigate. You are going to be looting for food, uh, there's guns, and then there are crafting items available as well, like uh, charcoal, uh, making gunpowder, making ammunition, things like that. There will be more crafting in the future as well, so I'm not going to go too much into the crafting because that will change as time goes on. First thing you do want to check out though is check out your F1. That's going to bring up your tablet. In here you can check out news, hot commands. A lot of this stuff isn't going to be too accessible or uh, too usable uh, at this present time, but you can check out the hotkeys and commands. In here you can find some very useful information like the radios, camping, uh, safe storage units, crafting tables, things like that. Uh, health. We're going to go over the healing. There are two different ways that you can heal yourself. There are med kits and bandages. Med kits are going to heal you all the way fully, no matter how hurt you might be. A bandage is just going to be a partial he uh, healing. 
Uh, med kits can also be used to revive other players. So if you're out with your buddy, he gets uh, taken down by zombies. You manage to clear all the zombies away from his body. You can uh, pick up his body by doing forge slash carry and then get into a safe zone or a safe area and then you can attempt to revive him by standing over their body and hitting K. Okay, so you'll just hit K on your keyboard. Your chat doesn't need to be open. You just hit the, board, the, the command when you're standing over his body. You have to have a med kit in your inventory to be able to do it, but that's how you can revive another player. If you can't revive your friend, you can loot his body to take his stuff. Uh, and to do that, you're going to hit E. That's the same button that you would hit when you're standing over a zombie to loot a zombie or to be able to loot a, uh, a weapon crate. Okay, uh, one of the first ways to store items we already went over is over here. And there are set locations around the map where you'll be able to use those. Uh, you need to find them. I can tell you there's one at the power plant, one in Sandy Shores, one down here at the starting area, one in Polito Bay. In all the primary areas, you'll be able to find one of those. Now, if you want something a little bit more flexible, and you don't want to have to go to one of those primary areas, but you have, you have to have more money to do this, you can go to the trader and purchase a safe. I'm going to show you guys really quick what the safe looks like. Is it called? I think it's. Is it player safe? There we go. Okay, so then with the safe, you can use it. It's a usable item. You can see it places a safe down on the ground in front of you. You can pick your safe back up, take it somewhere else, place it back down. Now keep in mind, if you have items in your safe when you pick it up, those items will be deleted. You can't put a bunch of things into your safe and then pick it up and use it as a secondary storage. So, just be warned, if you lose items because you put them in your safe and you picked it up, you're not getting them reimbursed, you're not getting them back, you've been warned. So just keep that in mind. But you can hit the E button to access your safe. You can put items in here, come back later, and, you know, grab your items. Because, uh, let's say... Uh, let's say you, uh, what the hell? Oh, of course. I just get a connection interruption. While I'm doing the video. Worst timing ever. Apparently I just lagged out on the server. Well, that was bad timing. Alright, we'll move on from the safes. We'll move over to the crafting tables. Let me see here. Let me go over real fast. All right, over here you can see that we have this gentleman here, and here is a crafting table that's already set up that you can access and use. This is a purchasable item, just like the safe, and you can place it down and pick it back up. Or actually, no. Scratch that. You won't be able to pick it back up. Once you place your crafting table down, it is set in location, so you won't be able to just fold it back up and take it where you want. So keep that in mind. Where you set this up will be accessible to other players, so you make sure you want to have your, your safe zone or your area specifically that you want to have something like this for just yourself or your friends to access. And when you access this, you will get this screen right here. This 6x6 is where all of the, uh, or th I'm sorry, 3x3 three three is where all of the crafting takes place, okay, in this window. And when you have items that can be used in crafting, they will appear over here. They'll have pictures. You'll click and drag the item to the necessary spots to do the crafting. And you have to have them in certain boxes here and able to do the crafting. I'll show you a quick example here. Right here you can see, imagine if this was the 3x3, three three, you would need iron in the top three slots, a die cast in this center slot in the second row here, and then nothing in all of these to be able to make the bullet casing. 
So if we look back at this, if I had, let's say, iron right here, I would take this iron, I would drag it to this slot, I would drag it to this slot, and then I would drag this to this slot, and then I would assume that I would have the die cast tool, which you have to buy, and you would drag that tool to this center slot, hit craft, and it would craft your bullet casings. And that's how you're going to use all of the crafting at this location, or at the crafting table. All right, um, that's pretty much the basics uh, of the get of how to get started out here. Uh, just keep in mind, guys. Like I said, I, I can't stress it enough. It is designed to be difficult. I know a lot of people are having a hard time, and um, you know they're not too happy that they're they're dying as often as they are, or you know that they uh, they they lose their items. It's like, guys, you gotta understand that it, it is by design meant to be difficult. Um, I can see how that can be a little off-putting at times. Uh, I died last night with a lot of items on me, and I lost everything. But I can't just get mad at the game. I gotta realize that, hey, I should've went and I should've dropped off my stuff. So, make sure you guys are using the safes. If you have an issue like I just had there, too, you're probably gonna have to relog. I think I'm, uh, split from the server right now because it DC'd me. So, I've been having some connection issues lately. Hopefully this video is going to be uh, okay. So if you guys have any problems out here, just uh, let somebody know in Discord. We do have admins and moderators out here on the server, and they can be found in Discord as well. So I hope you guys have fun out here. Later, guys.